everyone it is so good to be chatting with you guys right now because this is a very special video it's a chatty one i'm chatting with you guys while i crochet um i am making a sweater for one of my friends who's headed to iowa law um emmy this is <laughs> your sweater progress right now so i will be doing that while we chat um i want to talk about my law school decision and what went into making that decision. Where we left off last, I have received a call from Michigan letting me in off of the wait list. Um, it was a great call. Dean Z, Dean Zierfoss is wonderful and very kind. And they came at me with a surprisingly generous scholarship offer. Um, <clears throat> But I also had a very generous scholarship offer with Georgetown and had also been considering Northwestern. So this video is all about my process in deciding between those three institutions. Um, a couple honorary <laughs> mentions for schools, um, UGA, UF, they were so kind and so generous and they gave me so much faith in my capabilities in this process and i could not say thank you more um other schools uiuc just so many and i feel so extremely lucky to be here right now so let's chat about my decision so when i started this process i always felt like it would be a battle between debt burden and portability which you could say to an extent it was right like i was very lucky and received five full rides <laughs> to amazing schools in this process um and ultimately ended up turning those down for more portable options right i didn't have full rides at georgetown northwestern or michigan which i ended up choosing between although Georgetown came pretty darn close. <laughs> um, initially, I was deciding between Northwestern and Georgetown. And if you haven't watched my <laughs> Northwestern vlog yet, I absolutely fell in love. I loved Chicago, loved Northwestern. The Dean was so articulate and empathetic and I was just blown away during Purple Carpet Day in February, which I know that's the point, right? Like they're supposed to be recruiting, but there was just something special about the environment. Um, for a while, I had no financial aid information. Once I got it, I got an initial offer of about 90,000 from Georgetown, an initial offer of 150,000 from Northwestern. Um, so very transparent video. <laughs> and I was blown away. I was like, it's Northwestern. We're going to Chicago. I was telling all my friends, I was like, we're going to be in Chicago. <laughs> Get ready. Come visit us. Um, and we had a community in Chicago. My partner's coming with me. So that was very important. It, w it couldn't have worked out better. However, <laughs> you always try to get them to reconsider your scholarship. So I did so for many schools, not just Georgetown and Northwestern, but for Georgetown and Northwestern, I did ask them to reconsider. Georgetown said yes twice to my reconsideration. And I ended up receiving Opportunity Scholar from Georgetown um, which, if you don't know, I'll put a little blurb about it right here. And it made the decision very difficult. I received it about, I want to say, a week before deposit deadlines. And Northwestern said no twice to my request for reconsideration. So, Georgetown kind of put a beautiful wrench in the plans and I was freaking out for a little while 
and had to really reevaluate my priorities. It turned out with the cost of living, it would be about a 50K difference after interest, although with these new interest rates, it could be higher. And my goal throughout all of this is to achieve financial security. And part of that goal is being able to fund a college education for my niece. And $50,000 is a state school education. And so I just couldn't grapple with the idea of that much more debt, no matter how minuscule it might seem with a corporate law salary post-grad. So I ended up choosing Georgetown and I was so excited. I had a wonderful roommate picked out, Sophia, one of my best friends in the entire world that I met through this process. And I like legitimately think this girl is one of my soulmates in life. And it, it couldn't have been better. And then Michigan called with a feeler asking if I would still be interested. So I, I told them and I was fully upfront. I was like, I have this current offer from Georgetown. And they were like, that's a lot of money. And I was like, yeah. So if you guys have been with me for a long time, you know, Michigan was my top choice going into everything. I have always loved Michigan. I visited Ann Arbor about a year ago from the day that they called with the official news that I would be let in off the wait list. And they said a very generous scholarship amount. <laughs> I, I can't believe like getting that kind of money off a wait list is insane. And I feel so entirely lucky, but also like my work has paid off and I got into my dream school. But there is a community in DC. We have a roommate in DC. There's Curriculum B at Georgetown. There's the Supreme Court Institute. And every single time I had said, I need this from them, they said the door's open. And that meant a lot. Michigan gave me two weeks to consider their offer and to say yes or no. Which was very lucky because my partner and I were able to visit Ann Arbor. He had never been, so it was very important to me that it was a community he could see himself thriving in. And he did. And we went on the tour of the law school. He had never seen the law school I had. Um, I got to talk about crocheting and sewing with some of the um, individuals in admissions. And I just felt very seen and treated kindly. The tour went over time because we were just having so much fun. Uh, we were with about nine people on the tour and connecting with those people was super fun. We all sat in awe of Michigan law. Everything is very intentional. Everything's built very intentionally at Michigan. And it's all so beautiful. And my partner after the tour looked at me and said, I know why you fell in love with this place. And with that blessing, essentially, I chose to pay my deposit at Michigan. <laughs> That's like the first time I've said it out loud. I've, I'm in awe that this is my life. And then I get the chance to connect with amazing people. I did get to meet some Michigan students who are currently in New York and that really helped make my decision too. So thank you to everyone who showed up to the New York Michigan meet, um, especially Chai. <laughs> and 
I can't wait. We are scrambling right now, looking for housing and applying to graduate housing. So fingers crossed that that works out. But I couldn't be more grateful for the scramble right now. And saying no to Georgetown was so difficult. Having to let go of the possibility of rooming with Sophia and saying goodbye to Curriculum B is so difficult, but I had to. I I can't imagine saying no to Michigan. So I will be at Michigan Law. <laughs> I will be at Michigan in the fall. And I am so excited to take you guys along for the journey. And yeah, maybe I'll do some crochet vlogs. I don't know if you guys would be into that, but I'm into them. And I'm working on something huge for our apartment right now, like a huge crochet centerpiece uh, that will go above our couch. So, and I'll, I'll put some photos here of my progress right now. But yeah, I'm so excited to nerd out with a ton of dynamic, kind, amazing people. So. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you are just excited as I am. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll see you guys later.